hello hello my dear friends and welcome back to the channel once again if it is your first time here my name is gigo and today we are on our way to cape coast you know around the Asebu community we have one of our clients here called uh, madam fatima who bought a land in uh, around the Asebu community and you know she wants us to put up a structure for her you know, we have the plan already you know we did everything but then we need to see the land you know before we start putting in the structures and everything so we asked to go for a site visit you know to check on the land take our own measurement do our own checks you know to know which type of soil it is and she also wanted to start with a fence wall so then that is what we did we went there to you know do all those checks and if you've been following you know giggle production group you know one thing about us we always check we double check and then we cross check so yeah so my architect uh, my architect nat and also uh, brother sami my contractor engineer went to the land to survey the area and yeah we they came up with you know report and uh, it was very interesting which i'll be sharing later in the video so immediately for us to see the land you know really get the nature of the land because you see there are a lot of weeds and trees around so we have to clear the land first you know get it a little bit level to know so from here you could see that the land is on a it's on a slope you know it's on a slope and sometimes you know people ask for estimate without not seeing the land we give you the estimate the est every estimate is based on flat land this is something you have to know this is a free tip every estimate is based on a flat land so the moment you go to the site and your land is sloped it's on a slope that means the estimate the foundation will change that means the estimate that you have paid for is invalid now it, it doesn't work anymore so please if you are giving your if you want someone to do estimate for you let a person go and see the land first whether it's a waterlogged land or something let a person go and see it first you know just it calls for you know the transportation and then you'll get a good estimate and that's what we do here at giggle production group so the guys went and uh, yeah they saw the land the room on the land left and right actually the land is two plots the land is a two plot land and you know we came up with a massive design which i think i'll be sharing here for you to see massive design it has view of mountains and i think some hills it's a very beautiful land but one thing which uh, we notice is how madame fatima wants to move to ghana you know very fast urgently you know she really wants to come to move to ghana and we go into the land and seeing, you know, the location. Yeah, we think it is a very good purchase. It is a very good land. I really like the view you get. You could see, you know, we are walking from top to down and you could see the view, you know, diminishing the hills. So it is a very beautiful land. But the thing is, she really wants to move fast. And you can imagine she is planning to build within two to three years. So you can imagine, you know, where the land is and then the next building there is no building around her you know and she is planning to move first and then the family comes later so in the report we have to try to you know know what she really wants which is like she really wants to move between two and three years and i can tell you within two to three years we are not sure if there will be houses around if she will have neighbors around her so the guys also did a drone shot, you know, to let her see from afar, from afar. And you could see this, you know, and someone, you know, coming to Ghana for the first time, you know, having lived in Ghana before, I think, yeah, it will be a little bit, you know, I don't know the right way to use, but I wouldn't do it. So I wouldn't advise anybody to just move in. To, you know a community someone coming for the first time someone who have never lived in Ghana before I mean if you are if you are that's I mean if you are if you are born in Ghana you've lived in Ghana for like for like 15 years or 10 years before traveling then yeah then it makes sense because you know but someone moving in for the first time 
I will need advice, you know, because there are no hospitals. You can't see any hospital around. There's no shops, no market, and you are used to the Western life. You know, you could see where the car have to park and then we have to walk. Even though, you know, people are buying, people are buying the lands and everything, but how do you know they are coming to build immediately? Like I said, this is a very good purchase and I think this is the future. It is the future, but it is not now. It is not a current, you know, you could you could buy this for your grandchildren or for your children, you know, and by then, I think in 10 to 20 years time, they will be very much happy. They will thank you. But if you want to build a movie now, depending if you are someone who wants to, you know, live isolated from people, you want to live in a quiet place, then you can go for this kind of land. This this is just a tip that I'm giving out there, you know. So what we did, like we advised her, and uh, since she wants to move very fast, I have to put the team to together to find her a new land, you know, which is close to the community based on how fast she wants to build and move. You know, we will find places where you could easily, you know, relate to people. And then I think in the next 10 to 20, 20 years time, you still have this land for yourself. You know, we are not giving it away. We are not giving it back. She's still going to keep it maybe for the children, you know, for the grandchildren or even use it as a, as a maybe a poultry farm or a farmland, you know, use it for anything that she wants to use it for till, you know, she's ready to build on it or when people come around. So it's still a good investment, you know. Don't get me wrong. This is a very good land. The, the view, I like the view. I like the land. But if you want to move in now, then I think this is not the place because I have lived, you know, in Ghana for like 20 years, 21 years before moving to Europe, to the Netherlands. But after staying in the Netherlands for three years, when I went back home for the first time to visit, my first night from the airport, everything was nice. Immediately, I get, I got home, I got to my room, I put my bag down, I started crying. My parents were like, yeah, what is wrong with you? Like, what happened? I, I, I told them I don't know. They even thought that maybe I, I was deported. But to cut a story short, you know, it was just because you know, I couldn't connect to the internet, you know, I couldn't connect my phone to the television, you know, I was thinking that my laptop will get blown by the electricity power outage. I think that night there was also a light off. I think that was the reason why, you know, I was in that kind of situation, you know, because in Europe, yeah, I'm used to a certain style, you know, when I get back from work, I have a way that I put everything on and I couldn't just do that, you know, I couldn't connect with with, with the world, you know, my WhatsApp, everything was dead to me. And, you know, it came as a shock. And, yeah, I have to wait for the next day before I can get a new SIM card, register it, get the internet and all those. Yeah, it was just, you know, it, was not, it, it wasn't for me. So I, I don't know if it is, this is like a thing for me or you have also experienced the same thing, you know. But trust me, it's not because maybe I am from a wealthy family or something. Trust me, I have sold Piotr before. I have washed this dishes in Choba in Ghana before. I have, you know, I have done this construction work, like the block work, you know, manufacturing blocks. I have done those before, even not with machines, eh? like the old style. I have done that. I have pushed trucks before. So it's it's not that, like, I'm, maybe I'm sport or something. No, I'm a hard guy. Trust, trust me. You know, I've been on the street my own life before moving, you know, to Europe, you know, so... I know what I'm talking about, you know. It will be a shock to you as a first time, you know, visiting. You know, if you've if you stayed in Ghana for some time, then I think you can adjust to all those things. You know, these are some of the reasons why people, you know, move and, you know, they cannot stay in the country and they regret, you know, investing and all those stuff. So fast forward, you know, we have to talk to Mr. Kwete to find us a land. Mm -hmm. Correct. You got things, this, the area. Area, maybe. Mm, Adam Estate. It's a, this is the main entrance where the security police. This is a street, Ruti Junction. And you enter the estate. On this lane stretch, first, second plot. What we want to give it out. 
there's electricity already developed area and just behind the estate you can still see the area just after this building the next plot and uh, the next plot okay So fast forward, you know, we have to bring her all the way from Cape Coast to Greater Accra. So we are in Tema now, Community 25. Uh, this is uh, Dorwenya. As you know, most of you know that all my projects, you know, is around Dorwenya. So that's where the team is, you know, come to 25 Tema. We know what she likes, so we managed to find a, a little hill project for her. So as you can see, you know, this is like standing. I think this they are standing on a land and you could see from afar. You could see, you know, the roof top of you know your neighbors you could see all the way from afar i think if we go on a story building i believe you can see the pram pram beach you know you can see i believe that but i think we're going to do a drone shot for her and we'll find out later so mr quater is leading us on this one you know he has sold this the, the where he is standing now is also a person that we did the foundation you know, when people buy their land, we advise them, do your foundation, leave it, you know, or you do your fence wall. You know, to me, what you use for the fence wall, you know, rather do, uh, rather do, I mean, like, just do the foundation. That is, if you have a plan already, just do the foundation, leave it like what we've done. And as I always show on my channel, let the rain do the work, let the rain. So the owner is just waiting for the rain. This person doesn't have a plan yet still thinking of what to put out there so the person has done his fence wall and mr and madam fatima's project land is going to be in the next one it's bushy now so we cannot really walk in there but during the course of the week i've asked mr quitty to clear the land you know we're going to get some footages for her to see the land actual land the location mr quitty is pointing to is potter city so those of you who are in accra you know if you know the potter city church that's far you know that's it so if you are on the rooftop we're gonna have like a, maybe a rooftop for her she's gonna see all the way like to potter city and uh, yeah so that's the land that's her land but it's bushy now you know so when uh, we get it cleared we're gonna show it to you people and we're going to update you guys on the channel so on this note i introduce you to madame fatima's project here on google production group trust me on this one it's going to be action in quoting action action so uh, nat did this drawing for her but i don't think we're going to use it because now we have just one plot the initial plan was to build on two plots so if you need a drawing you know just get in touch with nat you know that is now on the screen directly you need a cost estimate. My contractor is there. He's also an engineer. He's the builder behind this uh, this channel. So just get in touch. So now we have to go back to the drawing board and come up with a new structure, which she said I should do my thing. So I'm working on that. I'll update you guys here on the channel. So I think this brings us to the end of today's episode. I hope you've learned something from this video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in my next episode. Let's do it.